what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to reduce lag and frame drops in streamlabs obs i recently had this problem for my live stream so i figured i'd make a video on it while the information is fresh in my mind but before we start make sure to leave a like subscribe and watch till the end to completely understand why it's lagging and how to fix it the first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings and go to advanced. There's only one thing you're going to want to change here, and that's in process prior priority. Um, it's probably going to be on normal, but just change it to above normal because then that'll give Streamlabs OBS more processing power. So once you change that, you probably won't have any uh, frame drop issues anymore, but just keep watching because there's a couple other things that can help with that. <clears throat> so then hopping over to video, you're going to want to change your base, your base resolution to whatever your monitor is. So I have a 1080 monitor, so I'm going to change it to 1920 by 1080. But if you have a 720 monitor, just change it to 1280 by 720. <clears throat> and then for output resolution, um, there's a couple things that factor into what you're going to want to do this, want, want to do here. But I'll just explain it really simply and real quick so you can um, understand it better. So there's a website you're going to want to check to check your download speed. That's how you're going to know what uh, resolution is best for you. So there's a website speedtest.net slash run. I'll put name of it probably on my screen right now and the link in the description. So you can quickly head over to that. And once you open it up, there'll be a big go button. And it'll probably take like 20 seconds to check your download and upload speed. But you're just going to want to uh, look at your upload speed for now. <clears throat> so let's say, yeah. So if you have an upload speed between like 6 and 10, then... Oh, I didn't mean to open OBS, my bad. Um, if you have an upload speed between 6 and 10, then you can probably keep your output resolution at uh, 1920 by 1080. But if you're still lagging, even when you have a download speed between 6 and 10, then just downscale it down to 1280 by 720. That should do the trick. And if you have below a download speed of 6, then definitely put it at uh, 1280 by 720. That'll help you out. And then for the downscale filter, you're probably just going to want to keep it at bicubic. Unless you're having like really, if you're having really bad lagging issues, then just change it to bilinear. Because it takes a lot of pressure off Streamlabs and like it doesn't uh, take as much CPU power if you have bilinear. So right here you can see, it says it's the fastest, but it's blurry if scaling. So it'll be very blurry, but you know, you'll at least you'll be able to stream if you're lagging like that bad. <clears throat> but I'm just keep mine at bicubic. And for FPS um i don't know compared to all the other settings we're changing it's not really as important i just keep mine at 60 but if you're still lagging then and you'll feel better if it's at 30 then you can definitely change it to that <clears throat> but i'm gonna keep mine at 60. so the last thing or the last part of settings we're going to want to check out is the output so the first thing you're going to want to do is put the output mode to advanced so you can check out all these advanced settings and for the encoder probably just keep it at x264 unless you want to use or unless you have like a good graphics card if you have a good graphics card then change it to nvenc because that'll take some pressure off your uh your cpu if you have a really good graphics card just change it to that because then your graphics card will be doing a lot of the scaling and encoding <clears throat> but my graphics card isn't really that good so i'll just keep it at x264 and you should probably do the same unless you have a good one so for the rate control, just put the CBR. And for bitrate, it also, we have to go back to the upload speed. If you have an upload speed between like five and 10 this time, then just keep your bitrate at like 3,500 or 4,000 if you have like almost at 10. <clears throat> but if you have below five uh, and an upload speed, then probably put it at like, probably put your bitrate at like 2,000, 2,500. And then the last thing we're going to change is make sure your profile is on main. And then, yeah, that's basically all the settings. You can just click done and it'll automatically save all of it. So that's basically all the settings in Streamlabs OBS that'll actually like really help with lag and frame drops. Now, another thing you can do is go into the actual game you're playing if you're streaming a game and you can just optimize the settings in there. But it depends on the game you're playing. <clears throat> so thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you out. And leave a comment if you have any questions, I'll make sure to answer them all, and I'll see you guys in the next one.